Alright everybody, let's get to it. Welcome to the Let's Play Pop for Mail. We are on part 17 in the foyer that's freaky. So let's get on with it. First things first, we want to equip our shiny new aura blade. Takes us up to a 50 in offensive power, which doesn't sound that amazing, but it is an improvement, so I'll take it. Next up to bat is Mr. Tat. We're going to give him his aura cane, which will boost him to, again, 50 as well. Are you seeing a pattern here? And not too impressed with his attack. So we'll come back to that. Last but definitely not least is Gaul. You know, our MVP. Our silent hero here with the aura beam. Brings him up to 55 as usual. He has the highest attack by a bit. And his weapon is probably the most useful overall. So you will be seeing a lot of that. But Mel is a close second with her aura blade. And the thing about her weapon that's nice is unlike the other two characters, she can still attack even with her energy bars down to zero with her strongest weapon because it is a sword so she's got that going for her. Now I'm backing out a bit I'm gonna farm some money I think to be able to buy some of the equipment that's gonna be showing up real soon kind of deciding where I want to go to do that because I forgot to mention this a few episodes back I did attempt to farm some more gold bullion from the mummies back when I had to go back to the mines anyway it turns out that they only dropped that during that story event so the game was a little clever there the developers did think ahead of time so uh, Mount Ripper the jib ship one of these will probably be my best bet for now but uh, I'm gonna take care of that off screen uh, just sit back and enjoy this map music because again I think this game has a terrific soundtrack you don't hear nearly enough of the music so I'm gonna shut up for a bit and enjoy And enough of that. So back to the freaky foyer and to proceed with the story. It's not too much left I think so we've got these helmet heads with looks like a cannon for a nose. Huh. Wonder if Muddenhead put those guys together. As per usual they do hurt so we're gonna try not to take too much damage. And of course it seems like the armor never really catches up in this game. You know, I just think you just take too much damage for the whole thing. So maybe I should try using those helmets. Every little boost is going to help right now. Pretty soon I should be able to buy some amulets, so I'm going to stock up on those, provided they're not too expensive. I forget how much they're going for. Still holding out to buy some elixirs. I'm really looking forward to that day. And look, they're dropping medical herbs again. We haven't seen those for quite a while, but didn't really miss them because as you can see, they really don't give us back anything. Now for some reason all the trap devices don't really do much damage. You know, the morning star, spinning maces, the spike ceiling traps. All these things, they, they barely do damage, but the enemies do horrendous damage. Only exception is the uh, spike floors, those do hurt a bit I think. But even then, not as much as an attack from a, a enemy, so. Still gonna try to take as little damage as possible, but I'm not really concerned about them. And that'd be one reason why I just found an amulet and a helmet. One's wonderful, one not so much, but a boost is a boost. I will take everything they are willing to give because they are quite stingy. And I'm not bitter at all about that, in case you're wondering. These are actually a lot easier to avoid than I'm giving them credit for. Uh, kind of a sorry display if I can be honest. I will get better though, I think, I hope, because <laughs> this is in game, this is not the time to be slipping up, backsliding, it's time to step it up, come on male, come on me, <laughs> because you're kind of at the mercy of my hands here, sadly, there was nobody more qualified available for the position, so I'm just going to have to make do with me, and yeah, the timing for these guys is a little tricky, except not really, I'm just being impatient again. Most of the hits I've taken could have been avoided if I just went a little bit slower. But something about mail. I mean really it's almost like I'm using Sonic. I just I just go into overdrive mode. So But as you can see to carry him without too many problems. Now as we proceed through this area, it's gonna become more maze-like. So just something to keep in mind. It's not too bad at the moment. It's pretty straightforward. 
I did venture off a little bit off screen before I started recording to see where I had to go to get the key because I did remember having to get a key before I could unlock a certain door. And I believe this is that door I'm speaking of. So I'm guessing pretty soon we're either going to find an important item or story dialogue or a boss or all of the above. Going to brace ourselves either way. Finally get to use these stone shoes if I haven't already. Pretty useful. You know, get to save some of that amulet energy because it could have been used for the same effect. And we have our first mid boss. In my opinion, the easiest boss in the entire game. I think I said that recently, but I take it back. Whoever I said it about, no. This guy has the beat. Again, we're not counting the badger teeth because. <laughs> Alright, you saw, didn't you? So. All you want to do is just equip Gaul, give him his best weapon, obviously. Just stand somewhere in the center there, time your jump so that he can't hit you, because this is pretty much all he does. I think he has another attack, but again, a lot of the enemy's attacks are based on your current position, so if you just stay in that one spot and keep jumping up and down, he is not going to be able to hit you because Gaul's jump is just too high. And that's it for the rock sentry. Push over if there ever was one. But it's good to get, a, again, another breather because a lot of the bosses just hit too hard. And they're too quick on the draw. And I took, really, I had no business taking any damage from him. So, again, I'm, I'm beyond rusty at this point and I have no excuses anymore. So, it is what it is, as the cool kids like to say. But that's it for the first leg of this castle. We're on to Hassle Hall. <laughs> Which is, uh... Good use of alliteration there. Oh yeah, I'm seeing a pattern with that. Freaky foyer, hassle hall, so let's see what the next one's gonna be. Maniacal maze or something. So the flying knights drop lances because they have butterfingers and it's very inconvenient for us. Unauthorized personnel not to proceed without special clearance. Trespassers will be terminated on site. I wonder if Sven wrote that when he was still around. And I'm pretty sure that includes us, but you know, we're not too concerned because we have oral weapons and red hair and golden armor. Well, okay, we don't have golden armor, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get some. So in the meantime, let's just pretend like we do. And as you can see, they're pretty easy to avoid. You just kind of have to lure them to come down and back up a bit. Again, she's pretty quick, so she doesn't have too many troubles. If I was using somebody else, it'd be a little trickier. These things, if you time it right, you can jump in the center of them like so and not take any hits. But again, I'm kind of reckless, so taking a few blows there unnecessarily. All for the sake of proceeding. And can we make this jump? Probably, but just to be safe. Oh, she could have made that. <sighs> Problem with the enemies is a lot of times they're just a hair off screen. So unless you're familiar with the area or have it memorized, or just have better reflexes than me. You're gonna take hits that are pretty hard to avoid. So, did see him coming up. And thanks for the medical herb of nothing. <laughs> nothing lost, nothing gained, Harley. And yeah, it's gonna be a few of them on this stretch of terrain. At least one more, right? There you are, I knew you were here. So all coming back. It's all coming back in. It's probably, yep, these guys. I really don't like these guys. Now you catch them from behind there. They really can't do anything, so that's perfect. That's lovely. Starting to hear noises. Hope that doesn't interfere with the recording. It was almost inevitable. I can't wait to move out and get my own place. <laughs> but I'm not gonna talk about my personal business in the LP. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. And, okay. Had my bus schedule with me. I thought there was one due any minute now. Come on, come on. I've got my fare ready. Thank you. Because, you know, we're practical. We like to save money. You know how she is about hoarding her gold. You know, this world has nothing but gas guzzlers. So she's gonna stick with public transit. It may be slow, but again, 
Got to stretch those dollars out. Okay, so I'm waiting for the number 16. Number 16 is due here any second. There we go. Oof, they need to hire better drivers though. Our business is going to dip. And then they're going to be mad and they're going to go on strike and then that's just going to ruin everything for everybody. Because everybody doesn't want to drive for various reasons. Like if you've ever lived in a major metropolitan city, you know, Chicago, New York, a lot of advantages to not having a car or at least using public transit, bus, train a lot more often because rush hour is no joke. And I got a little ahead of myself there. I don't have the key to proceed there, so kind of wasted a little time there and some amulet juice, but that's why it's there to be used, so ah, no regrets. And I should not have come this way at all. So this is going to be a lot of backtracking, hope you don't mind. But at least this will give me a chance to build my money reserves back up because I'm going to need it sooner than not. Just take my word for it. It's really a shame I couldn't get more gold from the mummies back in the mines. I was really looking forward to that. And if I had known they were going to stop dropping it, I would have probably farmed them a little bit longer. But what's done is done. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? Anybody know? Anybody want to just magically go back in time before this recording and send me a direct line. Stranger things have happened, I'm sure. Yeah, it's fine, we'll figure it out. We got nothing but time. <laughs> or everything but. I'm not sure which right now. Did I mention I don't like these guys? Excuse me, I really don't like these guys. But they're relatively weak, so there's that at least. Yeah, there's a time to be conservative and there's a time to use what you have. Right now, I think it's time to use this stuff. Because if I can hold out just a little bit longer, I'll be able to buy most of what I could ever need. It'll just, again, be an issue of being able to afford it. But, you know, it can't be too easy. And I'll be patient this time and wait it out. Here we go. Working on this moonwalk there. Not a bad impression, actually. Though really, I don't know. I never saw why well, I shouldn't say that, but... I don't know. The moonwalk is not a very impressive move to me. It's pretty easy to do. I guess it's just a question of can you look cool while doing it is what separates some from others. So, how about you? You ever moonwalk before? Do you look cool while doing it? And, okay, this is where we want to be. I'm pretty sure. Because I remember this part. And... Okay, I'm going to do this again off screen because I'm not giving up my elixir for that. <laughs> Probably should have been using Gaul because he does more damage. But just try not to lean on him too heavy. Because this will very quickly become his show. And it's about her. She's the star, so I'm trying to keep it that way. And poor Tad, he just, oof. He, for better or for worse, is our weakest link by far at this point. And it's sad, because, you know, I do like him, but he's just not getting the job done, you know. Gaul hits the hardest. He's got that jump. Mail's the fastest. She has pretty versatile weapons. He really, I don't know, 
he's just kind of there. You know? Not hurting anybody's feelings. So that's something. And, oh, I'm definitely doing this again. <laughs> By the way, I really don't like those guys. And, oh. And you know what? I need to block more because I can't do that. Okay. If I remember correctly, not falling is good. No, I want to go the other way. So let's try that again. Not too quickly though. Again, rushing is the cause of most accidents. So let's take it a little bit slowly. No, but think about it. How many accidents would even happen on the road if folks were just more willing to slow down? He's gonna die. Take their time. And, of course, pay attention to where they're going, what they're doing. Maybe not trying to do 50 million things at once when they're in the driver's seat. Or if they're not in the driver's seat, not doing things to distract the person who is in the driver's seat. You know. I just... I've seen a lot of near accidents in the city that I currently live in, and I just can't help but wonder, you know, did that really have to happen? Did that even have to almost happen? You know, on beautiful days, no rain or snow or sleet, no adverse conditions whatsoever, so why are we spinning and swerving and crashing and endangering lives? I don't get it. But... Honk is a four-letter word, and moving on, we're picking up a helmet. Gonna cool it with the traffic talk now. And... Just trying to survive at this point, and of course, he's here to help prevent that. Thankfully, we were able to prevent him. And what else are we getting? Gold. I was talking about you earlier. Haven't seen you nearly enough lately, but I'll take you. Thank you. And we've got the key that we needed for that door that I found a bit too soon, sadly. So if we could just make it back in one piece, I think we'll be doing just fine. Probably should heal up, but we'll take our chances. Life is a chance. those helmet heads. These guys, I don't... Uh... Yeah, that just happened. Well, we haven't seen that in a while, have we? <laughs> Sorry, Gaw. Oh, look at him. His wings are all torn up. He's all cut up. And got band-aids on. Oh, man. I feel bad. But at least you got to hear that and see that. It's been a long time. So it goes without saying I'm going to attempt that again. So until the next episode, thanks for watching. Take care and hopefully see you soon.